Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so in this video, I wanted to talk about the things that happen to us in our life and how we have a choice. In every moment, we have a choice. We can choose to keep doing what's been done to us if we liked the way we were treated, if we were treated like a decent human being, if we were respected for who we were, if we were treated like we were valuable and important and special, then that may be something that you'll want to continue doing for the rest of your life. You may want to continue treating others in this way because you had a beautiful example to follow in your life. Okay, but sometimes people come into our lives and they treat us in a way that makes us feel that we're not good enough. They make us feel worthless. They make us feel disrespected. So it's always up to you later what you do with this information. Okay, you can decide that it was good enough for you. And you can go out and treat others in that way. Okay, you have that choice, you have that power. Okay, because you were treated in this way, you can go on to treat others in that way. Okay, one example that I can think of from my, my childhood years was my very first piano teacher. Now, she told me at the age of 10, that I was too old to be a concert pianist. At the age of 10. 10. <laughs> okay, I was 10. <laughs> And that's what she said to me. And at the time, it made me feel like she had just squashed all my dreams, all right? Now, I could have gone on to become a piano teacher and do the same, pass on that bitterness to other students. You know, they are, you're too old. Don't bother following music because you're not gonna make any money with it or, you know, it's, you're just not good enough to pursue a career in it was basically what she was telling me. So I could have done that to all of my students. I could have made that decision and done the same to them and made them feel that they're not good enough to pursue music in any way that made them happy. It's just one example. But you know what, from, whoops, <laughs> from that moment that she did that and she said that to me, I knew in my heart that I could never ever do that to someone else because I knew what it felt like as a 10 year old to have my dream completely squashed by this grown up. And it's a very simple thing. Okay, it was one very simple thing. You know, you may be going through something that's you know, a lot harder and it's more continual. It's something that's going on and on and on. It keeps happening to you as a child or it kept happening to you as a child. But you always have a choice. You can go on in your life and do that to someone else. You can, you have the power to do that. Okay. But if you know how it made you feel you can choose today never to do that to someone else. You can make that decision for yourself and say, I didn't like how that made me feel. I'm not going to do that to someone else. I'm not gonna make someone else feel that way because I didn't like it. So in life, you're presented with choices all the time of what you can do, you can follow, you know, this example that made you feel awful, you know, or you can follow the example of that made me feel good. I'm going to follow that, you know? To my students, any students that come that are over the age of eight, nine, you know, I had an 11 year old girl start with me and she was worried that she'd started, she already had it in her head that she'd started late. I don't know why, because piano is something that you can do until you're like 70 or 80 or... There's no age to stop doing piano. You can do it forever. You know, once you start doing it, you've got your whole life 
to play this wonderful instrument. So I don't know where that came from, that it's too late to start it at any age. You're never too late to start doing piano or an instrument and enjoy the feeling that you get from creating music from a piece of paper. It's just amazing, you know? So she was 11 and she came and she had all these you know, doubts of what she could or couldn't do because she was 11 when she started. And I don't know if someone had told her this or she already came with that in her mind that she couldn't do this because, you know, or she couldn't pursue it fully because she'd started too late. And I told her, I started at 10 and I'm still going. I'm teaching it, I'm learning, I'm doing courses all the time, you know, to learn more about it because I love it. And there's nothing stopping you. If there's something you really love doing, do it. There's nothing stopping you except yourself, what you believe in yourself. If you believe that you're too old, you're getting in your own way. You're getting in your own way. Whether someone told you you're too old or you've decided that you're too old, you can choose that that's not going to stop you from doing what you want to do. You can choose that today. Okay? I give you permission. <laughs> choose it. <laughs> you know, you're always choosing. In every moment you're choosing who you are, who you want to be. Choose something that makes you feel good about who you are. Because for the longest time we're taught to choose things that make us feel bad. That make us feel less than who we really are. So today, choose the things that are going to make you feel good about who you are. Choose the things that you love. Choose the things that you're passionate about. Choose to do the things that are going to make you feel like the human being that you're meant to be. Choose. Please. You have permission. Choose. Choose to shine. All right, my darlings, remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye for now.